So let me ask you guys, who's ready to go back to school? I know I'm not, even though I work as my daytime job as a teacher. But Pokemon thinks we're all ready to go back to school because they recently released the Pokemon Back to School 2024 products. Now, they released four separate products. I did the collector's chest in a different video, so you can go check it out on my channel. But I am going to be reviewing the other three products here today. Starting off first with the 2024 Pencil 10. Now, one thing I'll say about this Pencil 10 right off the bat, if you're a sealed collector, having one of these on a shelf is pretty. I really like the Charizard on the front there. Um, the backside, little spoiler, does have Maride on the Crydon, so I'm glad they chose Charizard on the front. Even though he kind of doesn't relate to this product at all because this is Scarlet and Violet are sets, but this looks really great if you were to sit one on a shelf. But it is $10.99. MSRP is $10.99, and it only contains two booster packs. So essentially, if you think of the booster packs being retailed, $4.49 MSRP, that means you're paying $2 extra for this pencil tin. Now, the question is, is the pencil tin worth it to you? Obviously, you got Charizard on the front, which is really cool. And then on the back, you got Maride on the Crydon. Is this pencil case right here worth $2 extra for you? And then you also got to consider the packs inside. You got Twilight Masquerade and Temporal Forces. So are these packs worth their full MSRP value to you? Is Temporal Forces and Twilight Masquerade worth $4.49 each? And then if you do say yes, is this pencil case worth another $2 to justify the $10.99 price tag? That is something for you to decide while watching this video. But what we're doing today is not only are we reviewing the product, we're going to see if the product can give us fire pools. Now, on live stream, I had somebody open up some of these products and they were getting two bangers per item. Let's see if we can do the same. Let's see if we can get some big hits out of our packs today. We're going to start off with Twilight Masquerade in hopes of getting that Eevee or that Perrin SIR. I really need Perrin to finish up my SIR collection, so that would be nice. But Eevee is always a good card to add to. Unfortunately, it does not look like we're going to get an illustration rare of any sort. And neither are we going to get a double rare or an ultra rare. That's fine because now we got temporal forces. I'm still chasing that gouging fire EX SIR or that Morty's conviction. Either one of those would be nice. But let's see if we can get something good out of this Pendleton. Explorer's Guidance, so not, a, uh, not a bad trainer. Colossal. Then we get Electivire. Unfortunately, no SIR, but you know what? For a reverse, I'm really happy to see Latias, one of my favorite legendary Pokemon of all time. And just a Flutter main. So, two packs, two hollows. That's uh, not bad. Like, it, it's kind of expected that sometimes if you buy two packs, you're not going to pull anything. And if that's the case, then that's the case. But spending $10.99 MSRP for this product to not get anything, it kind of hurts, especially because I probably could have gotten these packs for like $4 each from my local card shop. So I probably could have saved $3 buying those packs individually. Now, once again, if you need the pencil tin, worth it. But if you don't need a pencil tin for any reason, and for most people, I can't see why they would need one, then maybe this is a pass. But for $9.99 MSRP, you can get one of these. Uh, first and foremost, you got the Belly Bolt Eraser Blister. This is a full-fledged eraser, and this is a bulky, chunky boy. Comes with a Twilight Masquerade and Temporal Forces pack, and these MSRP for $9.99. So, a dollar less, which I can only assume is probably because the packaging material plus the eraser probably costs less to make than the uh, pencil tin itself. So if you were going to buy any back to school products, since the pack selection does not vary, I would personally recommend picking up the blisters because even if you're not somebody in school, even if you were never going to use this as an eraser, this thing is a hefty, nice little figure that you can easily put on display. Just like that. Look at him. He's cute, right? Then you get your two packs. Let's see if Belly Bolt can change up our luck a bit. Belly Bolt Blister. Let's go. We got a Thwacky, Heliolisk, Ducklet, Emolga, 
Sunflora, Enhanced Hammer, Lely, Trevenant. We got an IR. It's a metal type. Ooh, what's metal? Oh, uh, this is going to be Laron, because I have pulled Laron a lot. Got Iron Leaves for the Hollow, by the way. Laron. Laron number four, which I do not mind, because this is a stunning card. So I'm absolutely pleased to have that pro uh, card in my collection. Now, we're going to move on to Temporal Forces. Let's see if Temporal Forces can also bring us the luck. We're still hunting a lot of cards from Temporal Forces. There's a lot of amazing cards that we can pull. Let's see if we can get one of them. Excadrill, Mirror Ride on Reverse, Arbok, and Melmetal. So we ended up getting a hit out of that blister. And to be fair, we're also getting the really cool Chunky Boy, which is going to go on my display shelf behind my pack cam. There's like figures and stuff back there. So 100%, my little Chunky Boy. It's kind of worth buying the blister, in my opinion, because you got two packs open and one hit out of two packs, kind of cool. But more importantly, you get a chunk. But let's say you're not interested in chunk. Let's say you're not a Belly Bolt fan. Well, if you're not a Belly Bolt fan, but you like Pokemon, I'm gonna assume you are a fan of Gengar. Gen 1, Gengar, absolutely awesome Pokemon. Same pack selection, same price as the Belly Bolt blister, $9.99 MSRP. So if you wanted two packs and you wanted something cool to put on display, this might 100% be worth it. Cause you got an awesome looking Gengar. Now give or take some of these erasers have seen better days. Still cool nonetheless. And they sit well on a shelf. Look at them. They're both chonks with belly bolt being a little bit more chonk, but chonks nonetheless. And then you get Temporal Forces and Twilight Masquerade. Once again, you do get your chance even though even albeit a little small, you do get a chance for some beautiful hits, right? So we're gonna see if we can get those hits in this pack right here. This is Temporal Forces. Let's see if we can get something. Anything would be nice. Explorer's Guidance, hey. Ironically, we already pulled one of these from the same case of uh, blister packs. Somebody during the live stream opened one up on stream and they pulled an Explorer's Guidance as well. So that's really cool. Explorer's Guidance is a pretty solid trainer card. All right, so last pack. Let's see if uh, Twilight Masquerade can give us one hit. Be awesome to end on a banger. Brew Bonnet, Enhanced Hammer, Sun Flora, Timber and a Hearth Flame Mask Ogre Pond. I think the one I'm missing is the water one, but Hearth Flame Mask is pretty cool looking. I actually, this might, I don't know if this is a hot take because I know, I know I see a lot of complaints about the, uh, the, uh, the SIRs because look, I have one right here. I see a lot of people not like these, right? I personally like the Ultra Rares more than I like these. Just on a personal preference, I have the four of these in the binders. I don't collect these. So let me know down in the comment section below, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the SIR or the Ultra Rare? Something about the white backgrounds and then the simple designs and all four, uh, four of them looking uniform next to each other. It's just so much nicer. So let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think? Worth it or not? I think honestly, pulling three hits out of the four blisters and then getting the two erasers on top of that, kind of worth it. But that's just my own personal take. Let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about these products. Are they worth it or are they not worth it? I would say if you were looking for any of these products just to rip, to have a little bit of fun, I'd personally recommend the eraser blisters over the uh, pencil tins. I would say only buy the pencil tins if you find a shop selling them for like eight to nine dollars so that way you at least get your money's worth with that being said guys i am going to go ahead and call it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section below what do you think about these products are they worth it are they not and i'll catch you on the next video bye